Uncle Peck teaches Cousin Bobby how to fish. I get that. Once or twice a year, supposedly to visit Mama and the family, but the real truth is to fish. Oh, I miss this the most of all. There's a smell in the low country where the swamp and fresh inlet join the salt water, a scent of sand and cypress that I haven't found anywhere yet. Now, I don't say this very often up north because I'm just playing to the stereotype everyone has, but I will tell you, I did not wear my shoes in the summertime until I was 16. It's unnatural down here to pit up your feet and let them. Go ahead, take them off. Let yourself breathe. It really will make you feel better. We're going to aim for some pompano today. And I have to tell you, they're a very shy, mercurial fish. Takes patience, psychology. You have to believe it doesn't matter if you catch one or not. Oh, sky's pretty spectacular. There's some beer in the cooler next to crap salad I pack, so help yourself if you get hungry. You hungry? Or thirsty? Holler if you are. Whoa! Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to lean over the bridge like that. Pumping up feed in shallow water. And you don't want to stand too close. Wait, check your line. Yep, something's been munching while we are talking. Okay, look, we're going to take the hook. And we take the sand flea, like this. Right up this little sand flea rump. Sand fleas should always keep their backs to the wall. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cast it in like a shows. Oh, that's great. I can taste that pompano now, sauteed with some pecans and butter, a little bourbon. Now, let it lie on the bottom. Now, real jerk. Real jerk. Look, look at your line. There's something calling. All right, okay, tip the rod up. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, not too sharp. All right, hook it. Easy. Real and then rest. All right. Real, let it play. All right, play it out. That's right, really good. I can't believe it. It's a pompano. Good work. Way to go. You're an official fisherman now. Pompano are hard to catch. We're going to have ourselves a delicious little. What? I don't know how much pain a fish feels. You can't think of that. Oh no, don't cry. <laughs> Come on now, it's just a fish. The other guys are gonna see you. No, no, no. You're just real sensitive. And I think that's wonderful at your age. You want me to cut it free? You do? Okay. Hand me those pliers over there. Okay. I'm just gonna cut the hook. Okay? And then I'm just gonna drop it in. No, no, I'm not mad. It's just for fun, okay? There! It's gonna swim back to its lady friend. Tell her what a terrible day it had. <laughs> and then she's gonna stroke him with her fins until he feels better. And then they'll do something alone together that'll make both of them feel good and sleepy. I don't want you to feel ashamed about crying. I'm not going to tell anybody. I keep secrets, you know. Men cry all the time. They just don't tell anybody. And they don't let anybody catch them. There's nothing you can do that would make me feel ashamed of you. You know that? Okay. You want to pack it up? Call it a day? Okay. I tell you what. I think I can still remember. There's a really neat tree house where I used to stay for days. I think it's still here. It was the last time I looked. But... It's a secret place. 
You can't tell anybody we've gone there. At least about your mama or your sisters. There's something special just between you and me. Sound good? We'll climb up there, have us a beer, maybe some crab salad. Sound good? Okay? Baby? Bobby. Robert. 